Hello everyone. Welcome to IITM Student Community Channel. This is the solution video of week 3 graded assignment question. So let's start. Question number 1. Consider 3 airports A, B, C to paint Ananya and Madhuri want to meet at airport C. Ananya boarded flight 1 from point A to C which is 1200 kimi. Due to bad weather, flight 1 slowed down, slowed down and the average speed was reduced by 200 km per hour and the time increased by 30 minutes. Madhuri boarded flight 2 from point B to C which is 800 km and the average speed of flight is 720 km per hour. What is the waiting time and who will be waiting at the airport? Uh, Madhuri and Ananya boarded at the same time. Okay. First, we have to see this. Ananya boarded flight 1 from point A to C, which is 1200 km. Due to bad weather, flight 1 slowed down and average speed was reduced by 200 km and time increased by 30 minutes. So, let us assume that the original speed of the flight 1 is x km per hour. So, to get the time, we have to, how to get time? We have to divide distance by speed. So, 1200 divided by x. This is the original time, right? Now, it is said that the average speed was reduced by 200 km and time increased by 30 minutes. So, when speed reduced by 200 km per hour, time increased by 30 minutes. 30 by 60 to make it hour and it is equal to t. Now we have to form an equation with this that is x minus 200 minus x is equal to this. So we can write this from this and this now we have to solve this equation. Then we get the value of, value of x which is our original speed of flight 1. From that we will get the time. Right. So to solve this. Let us solve this. And this is zero. And the square minus two hundred x. Now our equation becomes x square minus two hundred x minus 48 equal to 0. Now we have to factorize this to get the value of x. Now if we factorize this we get 800x plus 600x minus 48 
plus 600. If we get equate these two terms, equate to 0, we get x equal to 800. x cannot be equal to minus 600 because speed cannot be in negative. So, the original speed of flight 1 is 800 km per hour. Now, our first question is, what is the speed of, no, it is, it is our first question. Now, waiting time is 1 hour and RNA is waiting. Okay, we have to find the time. As the speeds uh, slow down by 200 km. So, time is 800 minus 200. That means 1200 divided 600 is 2 hours. It is time for Ananya. Right? Now, time of Mathuri to reach airport C is 1800 divided by flight to speed is 720. 720 and we will get the time of Mathuri that is 2.5 hours. It is Mathuri's time of reaching. Right. So, Ananya, Ananya will reach first and he Ananya will reach first and he has to wait for 30 minutes. So, this is our correct option. Waiting time is 30 minutes and Ananya is waiting. And our next question is in question 1, what is the speed of flight 1 in km per hour if weather boom? That means the original speed of flight 1. We say get here the value of 800 km per hour. So, this is our right answer. Question number 3. If the slope of parabola y equal to x square plus bx plus c where abc belongs to real number at point 3 comma 2 and 2 comma 3 are 25 and 1 respectively, then find the value of a. Okay. Here is our equation of parabola ax square plus bx plus c. Now we know the formula of slope of parabola that is y dash is equal to 2ax plus b. We will get this by differencing y with respect to x. So this is our formula of slope of parabola. Now at, in the question it is said that at point 3 comma 2 slope is 25. So at point 3 comma 2 if we put the value of x in this equation we will get 2a into 3 plus b is equal to 25 that means 6a plus b is equal to 25 and other point is 2 comma 3 at point 2 comma 3 slope is 2a into 2 plus b is equal to 1 that is 4a plus b is equal to 1. So it is our equation number 1 and it is equation number 2. Now if we subtract equation 2 from 1 we get 2a equal to 24 a is equal to 12. So the value of A is 12. Next question. A class of 234 students are arranged in a row such that the number of students in a row is 1 less than thrice the number of rows. Find the number of students in each row. So first let us assume that there are 
एक रो एक नंबर ऑफ रो सो द नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट इन ए रो इज स्टूडेंट इन ए रो इक्वल टू वन लेस देन थ्राइ द नंबर ऑफ रोज दैट इज थ्री एट माइनस वन सो टोटल स्टूडेंट इक्वल टू एट इंटू थ्री एट माइनस वन एंड वी आर गिवेन दैट द नंबर टोटल स्टूडेंट इज टू थर्टी फोर सो इट इज इक्वल टू टू थर्टी फोर now if we calculate this equation we get the value of x right so it is 3x square minus x minus 234 is equal to 0 we have to factorize this then we get 3x square that shall be 26x Minus twenty seven x minus two three four is equal to zero. So it is x plus sorry it is minus nine. We get this from this and this and other one is. 3x plus 26 is equal to zero. So the value of x is equal to nine. So the number of students so x is number of rows. We have to find the number of students in each row. That is 3x minus one. That is 3 into nine. Minus one. That means twenty-seven minus one. It is twenty-six. This is our answer. Next, we have to solve two questions with this question statement. A water fountain is designed to soak a stream of water in the shape of a parabolic arc. The equation of the parabola is given by this equation. A is equal to this equation, where H T represents the height of the water stream in meters, and P represents the time in seconds since the water was soft. Our first question is uh, determine the time it takes for the water stream to reach its maximum height. So, maximum height is obtained. Maximum height is obtained at the vertex. So we have to find vertex. So we know the formula of vertex of a parabola that is minus b by 2a, and from this formula we will get the value of b and a. B is 4, and a is minus 0.5. So it is minus 4 divided by minus 1. It is 4. So the time is four seconds. This is our required time to reach the maximum height. Next question is determine the maximum height reached. So here we get that the time to reach its maximum height. So if we put the value of t, that means this. In this equation, a is equal to minus 0.5 t square plus 4t plus 1. We will get the maximum height. So the time takes to reach the maximum height is 4 seconds. We have to put this value at place of t. It is 
4 square 16 into 0.5 that is minus 8 plus 4 into 4 16 plus 1 that is 8 plus 1 is equal to 9 so it is 9 meters this is our maximum height so that's all for the video in the next video we will discuss the rest question so if you like the video please do subscribe and join our channel thank you